Hey, what's up y'all? It's Zipatron here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft server on your computer. So the first thing that you need to do is to figure out what type of server jar do you want. If it's going to be vanilla, spigot, craft bucket, paper, whatever you want. So you, if you go to the first link in the description, which is getbucket.org, you'll see that we can get vanilla, spigot, and craft bucket from here. Vanilla is your traditional Minecraft, spigot, and craft bucket are two different types of server jars, but you're still able to run plugins on both of them. What I really like is actually the second link in the description, which is PaperMC. If you go to PaperMC.io, here it is. And basically, it's a better version of Spigot. So if you see, we go to Spigot. Uh, that's not Spigot. We can go to Spigot. You can download the version that you want here. But I want to get Paper. So we're going to go to Downloads. And you see, I want to get Paper 1.32.2, which is the latest version of Minecraft currently. And I'm going to download Build 5.22. Luckily, you don't have to wait. I already have this downloaded. So we need to create a folder for our server, somewhere that's accessible. I'm just going to call this YouTube server. You can call this whatever you want. This, it doesn't matter. This is not going to affect everything. This is just where you're going to keep all of your server files. And we're going to drag that server jar into here. So we're going to rename this to server.jar. If you do not have .jar at the end of this, don't worry about it. Just rename it to server because it's just going to be a lot easier to change in the future if we need to update the server or anything like that. So the next thing we're actually going to be doing is opening up Notepad. So if you go to the third link in the description, you'll see this haste bin link with this text in it. So basically this text is going to be the code that's going to be running to run our server jar. And see, look, server.jar right there. So you're going to be like, all right, what's this 1024? This means it's going to be running on one gigabyte of RAM. But you're like, hold on. What if I don't want to run my server on one gigabyte of RAM? I want to run more. Well, first you need to make sure you have a 64-bit operating system and have 64-bit Java. Because if you have a 32-bit operating system or have 32-bit Java, you're not able to do that. So to figure that out, you actually need to hit the start button, type about, and click on about your PC. That's the wrong one. Never mind. So go to, I think it's about, and then you click on system, not about your PC. Sorry about that. So you see here, I have... 64-bit operating system, 64-bit based processor. So if one of these or both of these is 32 or eight, uh, I think 86, it'll not work. You have to make sure both of these are 64. So since mine are 64, I'm able to update the memory or upgrade the memory that I want to run on my server. So I'm going to multiply this by 4, so this is going to be 4096 because I want to run the server on 4 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to do 4096. And there we go. So we're going to save this as and select our folder that we have. And we're going to actually change this from .txt to all files. And we're going to do run.bat. It doesn't matter what this is called as long as it's a .bat file. So you see here, we have run.bat. And we're bit bit done. I have no clue what that was. So now if we go back to the server in here, let me look at my notes. Now we're going to be running this batch file. So if we double click on this, it's going to be running. Download an original jar. All right, once this is finished loading, you'll see that it's closed itself, and we have this eula.txt. So we need to go in here and change this to true. Honestly, I'm gonna admit I've never read the Minecraft eula, but basically you need to follow these rules in order to keep your Minecraft server up if it's a public server. So if you're gonna make this server public, you wanna make sure that you change, you need to read this true, but I'm just gonna change this to true even though I'm not gonna make it public so I'm going to save it and close out of this and now we're going to be running the run.bat again or whatever your batch file is called and wait for this to boot up all right so now our server is completely done loading the way that you can tell is that you'll see this done it tells you how long it took to boot up man 45 seconds that was a little bit for help type help whatever so that's how you know the server is completely up and running so to connect to your server of course you need to boot up minecraft and make sure it's the same version so since i created a paper mc server that is 1.32.2 i booted up minecraft 1.32.2 so we're going to go to direct connect and type in localhost all one word l-o-c-a-l-h-o-s-t and we're going to click on join server so now if i did this correctly we're going to see ourselves joining the server and if we actually open up the console here here let me right click so it updates mine doesn't update for some reason you can see you idea of the player and now I've logged in so you can see I'm on my minecraft server and it is awesome can I do slash version I don't know yep see and you can see we're running paper version uh, 522 minecraft 1.32.2 running the latest version that is exactly what I want I'm guessing if you're running an outdated version it'll tell you so you can just update it and it'll be a lot 
It'll be, it'll be really simple. All you have to do is download the new jar, replace the old one, make sure you rename it to server.jar. There we go. But now you're like, hold on. Cool, this is survival. Whatever. What if I want to go into creative mode? What if I want to cheat? What if I want to do game mode one? Well, look, I don't have permission. Well, the thing is, you're going to have to go to the console. Luckily, you have the console because you created the server and type in op and then your username. So OP space username. So since my username is Zipitron, I named it. So once you're opt, you can see who's opt. So you'll know if you're opt if it says made Zipitron a server operator. So now you can see I can go to game mode one. That's right. I forgot they changed it in uh, 1.13. And you can see I can change game rules. Let's say keep inventory, all that stuff. I can even do slash kill and all that stuff works. So guys, that's how you create a Minecraft server uh, on your computer. And I'm hoping to make this a tutorial series. So basically, there's going to be a lot more after this. If it might be plugin tutorials, how to port forward, how to use a Minecraft server hosting, all that good stuff. So guys, if you did like this video, please are subscribe, like, and comment. And also, make sure to go check out my Discord server and my Minecraft server that is going to be getting a reboot soon. So if you join my Discord server, which is down in the description, you'll be able to see an announcement that I have about my Minecraft server because we might be looking for some people to help out with it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that's it, y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.